Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and today we're going to move some cash flows. And this time, I'm going to move the cash flow into the future. So, I have this $2,900 cash flow that is going to be made in year three. What I want to know is, what would it be worth in year 12 if interest rates are 10%? So, I'm going to use my time value of money keys. So I need to get all of my values. So first of all, I need N. N is simply the number of periods we're going to move it. So in this case, we're going to go from year three to year 10. And so that tells me I'm going to move that cash flow nine years. Our interest rate is given at 10%. And the present value of the cash flow is this $2,900. Remember that when you're moving cash flows from a point in time here to a point in time in the future, we have to use the future value formula. And so I'm going to solve for this unknown future value. I'm not making any payments, so that's zero. The only other thing I need to do is remember, either present value or future value has to be negative. So I'm going to make that present value into a negative when I plug it into my calculator. So here I am with my calculator and I've got all of my values over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hit my clear work just to make sure I don't have anything left over my calculator. And I'm going to proceed with my uh, time value money keys. So my N is 9. Whoa, what the heck? My N is 9. My interest rate is 10%, don't I wish. My present value is $2,900. Remember, that has to be a negative, so my present value is negative. My payment, we're not making any payments. We've just got this one cash flow, so payment is nothing. And now, remember, we're moving the cash flows forward in time, so now I need to compute my future value. So what that tells me is if I took a cash flow made in year three at 10% interest in year 12, that $2,900 is going to be worth $6,838.05. I hope this helped. Um, I hope to see you over on my YouTube channel. Have a great day.